Park. This is a relatively recent one. It's been giving me a lot of clad, but so far that's about it. So I'm trying to see if I got anything else here. Sorry to be using the earphones, but uh, there are a few people around, so don't want to disturb anybody. Okay. Here we got an 80. Here. Okay, what we got here? Ah, just a penny. Cool. I'll keep looking. Switch on when I get another signal. This killer hurts for me. I don't often use this one. So this could be a quarter. Not only a penny, you gotta learn this other kilohertz rating. I usually want ID norm, which probably was a mistake. So I have to get used when I change to, uh, when I change my kilohertz on my, uh, on my dais. Out in Girl Scout slides, seem like I find them everywhere I go. I'm not sure what this is. It almost looks like a little badge, but it also looks like one of those slides. I'll take a clean it up when I get home. But I got it there, it's only a little ways down. Been a cold day for targets, well, good targets, so it's nice to get something at least a little unusual. I expect to find much today, but I'm out here with my um, Nocta. And you know, I can't go real deep in a park, and this thing does go very deep. I did get a little shiny piece of metal here that looked like it could have been jewelry for a second. So, hope springs eternal again. And went pretty deep for a park. Fortunately, the ground is good, and I can actually develop some good plugs for a change. You people who think I never do good plugs, but uh, it is better. So, on a mid-tone hot streak of sorts, I got another uh, nickel, two nickels in a row. This one's about four or five inches down, not that deep. I don't know why I missed it with my other detectors, but the knock that did pick it up. About three inches down, but look at the size of this target. Very, very tiny. Knock that not, not only gets deep, it also hits tiny targets because it's so overpowered. iPhone. The other one I didn't record. With the v locks during this little excursion but let's see okay It looks like it's a. Darn it! Thought it might have been a dime, but I think it's just a crusty penny. Locks in one of my more pounded parks, and I just got a nickel. 
The Velox is good, uh, not only because it's deep and very sensitive is you don't have a great designation between diggable and non-diggable targets, so you tend to dig almost everything, so you do find more things. That's what I always say about VDI machines. VDI machines are great, but if you're going gold hunting or something where the VDI is non-specified, sometimes the non-VDI machines are more helpful. It's Texas Tiger Digs, and uh, I'm going to do a quick roundup for today. It's a little bit earlier than my normal roundup, but I don't think I'm going to get a chance to get out much the rest of the day. So I thought I would go ahead and get this uh, get this in. Now, I put quite a few little short uh, hunt videos and maybe a little dig video post, post bind ahead of this. And uh, I realized that I was, I, was, I was doing too much cherry picking. I was doing too much finding the one or two good finds or unusual finds and just showing those. But that doesn't really work for me. I guess I'm influenced by the guys who do compilations. Nothing wrong with compilations. I just don't do compilations like three, four, five days at a time. Well, I do three, four, five days at a time, but not three, four, five, six days or two or three weeks of hunts that until I find something good and show it to you. My hunt is not my hunts and my videos are never based on finding a piece of silver, a piece of gold, or anything else. Mine are vlogs. So, uh, I'm talking a little bit about what I'm doing in the videos you saw earlier. And you see the three machines I use to collect this small group of coins here. You saw, uh, you saw me use the XP Deus, surprise. You saw me use the AT Pro, another surprise. And then you saw me use the Nocta Velox, more of a surprise. I haven't used it as much as I should. And it's a very good machine, so I'm really glad to get it out. And strangely enough, most of these nickels you see here can be attributed to most of these nickels can be attributed to the VLOX. So, because, uh, you know, I'm looking, I'm taking the VLOX in the areas I found it pretty good, looking for mid-tone signals. And, uh, of course, you can't tell a mid-tone from a high, you can tell a mid-tone from a high tone in the VLOX. Though, in my opinion, in my tone-deaf way of hearing, they're pretty close. I can tell the difference, but I really have to pay attention. So, I tend to dig more mid-tones, even though I dig a lot of trash to begin with. It's always easier, and you'll hear me say this, when I'm working with a beep and dig machine than a VDI machine, because a VDI machine tells you, art or this is trash. A non-VDI or beep and dig machine doesn't really tell you anything. It just says, this is the sound that closely equates to what I have here, dig it. So I always enjoy using those every now and then when I need a simpler, a simpler view of life. In any case, uh, here I go. I'm just going to give you a quick rundown here. This was a combination of about three days, uh, one day, well, one real day and two just pieces of days. I think, uh, and I, now, excuse me for myself, I got about a couple of nickels off of the first. It was just the end of the day, and I just ran out and grabbed a couple of things. I think it was a nickel and a dime or so. And then most of these were originated from yesterday, which is my Saturday. And I've got a couple of quarters. I've got about 70 cents in dimes. I got about 20 cents in pennies. And about 10 more there. So not a, not a huge. And then a nickel that I got today. And unfortunately, I'm not going to be able to get out much more the rest of the day, it looks like. Got responsibilities. In any case, uh, so that was my find. So let's look at That's 50. And that's 50. That's a buck. Buck 20. Buck thirty. Let's just say, let's call that a, let's call that a buck forty-one, buck forty-six. And over here, the little trash I got. Uh, this I bought because boy, that looks good. You see a little gold shining up from you, and then you look, oh heck, it's just a piece of metal. But wouldn't it have been nice to have been a big chunk of jewelry? Uh, so, and these were a couple of really deep finds with the, uh, well, relatively deep. Five inches, six inches with very small targets, and they were coming up really sounding loud on the VLOX. So that's why I've included those. I'm not sure if I can put all those on the recording. The, the infamous uh, uh, zipper pull, and this, I still haven't sure, I'm still not sure exactly what that is. Hmm, this is weird. You now I get these slides, but they're large, and they've got the, the Boy Scout, the Girl Scouts, or the Cub Scout emblem on it. This is almost like a slide, but, you know, it's, it's not, it doesn't have a, 
a connection behind it. And I've got to clean that off and really find out what it is. If I find out what it is and it's something interesting, I'll put it in my next video. And I found this, and not, not a bad looking button. Uh, I think I was out there with the, yeah, I was out there with the uh, XP Deus and found this button. I said, that's a pretty cool looking button. And I found one token, some type of adventure. No, it's a, there's a, there's a, there's a company called Dallas Games and Golf. I think they are, uh, they also have video machines and stuff. I'm not sure about it, but that's what that token is for. And the, the keys I get quite often in a little, in a little piece of, of, uh, aluminum. In any case, uh, that's all of what I got. Like I said, this was a three machine, a three machine tandem here in a very short period of time. Didn't have a lot of time to do it, but I wanted to get this hunt out and give a, give a few hunt videos, a few dig videos, and sort of go back to the old way I was doing things, just to let you know that I'm still vlogging and vlogging the people who do really daily vlogs. You see their good days and their bad days. I don't actually go daily with my method detecting vlogs, but you you do see my good days and bad days. I thought I'd film them too so it could be especially embarrassing. Okay, so this is Texas Tiger Dig, and I will catch you uh, next time. Uh, probably tomorrow I might be able to get out and grab a, a lunch hunt. And, uh, you know, I, I, I hunt during lunch instead of eating because uh, if you see some of my pictures, uh, no. Nah. It's not good for a guy to look not to look to look four months pregnant. <laughs> so I'm, I'm getting I'm getting rid of the I'm getting rid of the getting rid of the tummy at my advanced age as fast as I can. <laughs> In any case, I'll talk to you later. You have a good day.